every single atom is capable of emitting electromagnetic radiation. And the electromagnetic radiation that is emitted by an atom is unique to that atom. Now, the discrete line spectrum of an atom basically describes all the wavelengths of light that is emitted by that particular atom. And the hydrogen atom produces a discrete line spectrum in the visible light region that seems to follow some type of pattern. So let's examine the following diagram. This basically describes the line spectrum of the hydrogen atom in the visible light region. So notice as we go down the wavelength of our light increases and this uh, diagram basically tells us that hydrogen atom emits four types of light that each correspond to the following wavelength quantity. Now notice that the spacing in between the lines on the spectrum seem to follow some type of regular pattern. Now these series of lines that follow this pattern became known as the Balmer series of hydrogen. Now in 1885 J.J. Balmer was able to show that the visible portion of the hydrogen spectrum have wavelength that follow the Rydberg equation that is given by the following formula. So 1 divided by the wavelength of the line that is emitted by our hydrogen atom is equal to R, a constant that is known as the Rydberg constant multiplied by 1 divided by 2 squared minus 1 divided by n squared, where n is simply the principal quantum number. It works for n equals 3, 4, 5, and 6. So once again, R is the Rydberg constant that has a value of 1.0974 times 10 to the 7 meters to the negative 1. So to actually see how this equation works, let's look at the following example. So we want to determine the wavelength of light emitted by the electron in a hydrogen atom when the electron moves from n equals 4 energy level to n equals 2 energy level. Remember, the line spectrum of an atom can be explained using the Bohr model of the atom. So the Bohr model of hydrogen is depicted in the following diagram. So we have the proton in the nucleus and we have our electron. So we only show three different energy levels. We have n equals 4, n equals 3, n equals 2. So our electron basically jumps from a higher level n equals 4 to a lower level n equals 2. And when the electron moves from a higher to a lower, a photon is released. So the photon, the light, is shown by the following squiggly line. So we basically want to calculate what the wavelength is of this particular light. So to calculate, we have to apply the Rydberg equation. So 1 divided by lambda is equal to R, the Rydberg constant, multiplied by 1 divided by 2 squared minus 1 divided by n squared. So our n in this case is simply 4. So we're going from the fourth energy level back to the second energy level given by this n. So, 1 divided by lambda is equal to this constant multiplied by 1 divided by 4 minus 1 divided by 4 squared or 1 divided by 16. So, we subtract and multiply and we see that 1 divided by lambda is equal to 2,057,625 meters to the negative 1. Now, to find the wavelength, we simply take the reciprocal of this and we get the following results. So we see that the wavelength of our light produced when the electron jumps from n equals 4 to n equals 2 principal quantum number, the wavelength is equal to 486 nanometers and that is equal to the following color. So once again, what this equation basically tells us is it gives us our wavelength of light that is produced when our electron basically jumps from a higher level to a lower level back to n equals 2.